Well, today is Veterans Day. My phone is saying it's 15 degrees out. You can see right there, 15. Uh, I've been putting this off for a while. <coughs> uh, I need to replace the radiator in this Suburban. Um, and we had the one of the quick release connectors for the oil cooler lines go bad and it's gushing oil out. <coughs> um, I've had those parts for probably about three weeks now. I've had the radio probably about two to three months. Um, I have since we've had this radiator leak, all we've been putting in it is water. But fortunately, we have a block heater. Um, and it's been keeping it warm. It's actually been melting the snow off the hood and everything. Uh, to compound this, to make it even more of an interesting day. <coughs> um, last Thursday, I started getting bronchitis. And uh, Monday, this is Wednesday, Monday I went to the doctor and he confirmed that I have bronchitis. But this is something I need to get done. I mean, it's getting into the teens. Uh, next couple of days it's supposed to get down to single digits. I don't know how well the block heater will work, so I got to get this thing done. So, wish me luck. My son's supposed to come over to help too. But uh, he was just come over at 9, and as you saw my time, it was after 9. And you know how teenagers are. Maybe he'll show up when I'm almost done. Alright. Now this is the uh, quick release for the oil cooler lines. There's two of them. Uh, and I'm probably the one that ruined ruined it when I did the oil or the engine change engine swap because I did not you can see the clip in there uh, I did not take that clip off I just spun it the, the thing spun so I said oh cool great so I let it spin and undid it and screw it back in so I'm probably the one that ruined it but I got two of these. I'll be replacing those today also. And I'll be doing a roll change. Why not, right? I'm in there. Uh, to compound problems even more is my, uh, my jack stands. I have four of them. They're all underneath the RV, stabilizing the RV. So um, I got a big old stump that I'm going to use as a safety precaution to make sure the, the car doesn't fall on me. My son is supposed to bring over jack stands, but again, he's not here yet. So, getting closer to getting this thing done. It's a beautiful day, chilly. Glad the wind's not blowing. I've got, uh, let's see, t-shirt, two sweatshirts, <coughs> uh, two fleece jackets, and a big old thick jacket on. And I've got a pair of jeans and a pair of sweats. <coughs> Just gotta make sure that I don't get too cold, especially when I'm laying on the ground. My hands aren't cold yet though, so that's, that's a good sign. Back to it. You quit procrastinating. Well, I just, just now got the radiator out. And look who just showed up. Yeah, so the radiator's out. Wasn't really that hard. <coughs> um, I did see a little bit of slush in, down there. That uh, hose clamp broke. <coughs> I took this uh, quick release out to help drain the top half of the motor um, and when I did that 
these quick release broke. So, it's to the store I go. There's there's the other part of the hose clamp. So, yeah. <coughs> Fun stuff, right? Sorry for all the coughing. You know, I do I do have bronchitis. But it's coming along. We haven't driven it here since it got towed home, but two, three weeks ago. So the wife's looking forward to driving it again, having two vehicles running again. So. This next step is to <coughs> throw it all back together and uh, do the oil change in that uh, in the uh, quick release connectors. Can you tell how clear that is? Can you see how clear it is? Okay, it's 14 degrees outside right now. Water looks like it's not frozen. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> it just all slushed up. <coughs> That's cool. It's weird, isn't it? Let's see if it's a. You think it's a fluke? Here's another bottle. Maybe it was. <laughs> Maybe it was a fluke. Now oh, there it goes. Takes a little bit. All froze up. And Sissy, this has never been opened before. Cool. I think I'll go show mom that one. All right, so we've got the radiator in, and I'm adding antifreeze. I've got the hose replaced down there. I got the new clip here replaced. Um, but uh, I'm adding antifreeze. <coughs> I had forgot to put this back in, and so I'm adding antifreeze, and all of a sudden water starts coming out of here. It, it's warm water, which is nice. So I decided I'll go ahead and uh, keep adding antifreeze. And I've already added uh, what, a gallon since the water started coming out. This is the second gallon I've added since water com started coming out. This is the third gallon I've been putting in. So I'm just waiting for all the uh, water to come out. And I start seeing antifreeze there. I'll put the clip back on. Looking more green now. Yep, it is. I see it's a good time to put this back on. It's nice to have a quick release. Oh, yeah. Well, now I have to fix an oil leak. That'll be fun. Yeah, it will be. Well, it took a lot longer to get this done than I was, was expecting. A lot longer but it is done. Uh, there's no leaks. Uh, it looked like the oil, quick release oil, um, cooler thing. It looked like it just uh, pushed it out. I didn't even, have to, didn't even have to take the clips off and it came out. Or I should say not clips, but clip. The retaining clip. So, <coughs> I thought it was the lower one that was having the problem, it was the top one that was having the problem. Uh, I did an oil change, there's probably only... 
my guess probably only uh, a quart of oil in the in the vehicle so uh, but so far it sounds like everything's good I don't hear nothing wrong with it I don't see any leaks um, and it's warmed up now so I'm gonna call it quits for the night go make some bread for tomorrow's party at work thanks for watching P.S. I really wish I had a garage. <laughs>